and we have another computer use agent on our hand. CU1 is an open MIT licensed computer vision model which is specially designed to power autonomous user interface agents by detecting interactive elements. Let me show you an example what I mean. So you see this is a user interface and the model has detected the different elements on the page like buttons, input, links and so on and so forth. So is the case in this example. In this video we are going to install this CU1 model locally and we are going to test it out with few of our own images from the user interfaces to see how it performs. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. As you can see here, I have been covering these computer use agents for quite some time and I am observing that for the last one or two months, there are more and more computer use agents which are appearing like we just covered Hollow 1.5, there was this ByteBot and the list goes on and on and on. And lately, this field is picking up. Now, this new CU1 is seems to be positioned as an open alternative to other contenders like Omniparser V2, which comes with AGPL3, but this one comes with MIT license. So if you're looking to ship a commercial product without being forced around disclosures and lot of other things, maybe this could be a good choice around your user interface or computer use, use agentic software. I will also be talking a bit more about its architecture and few more use cases, but for now let's get it installed. I am going to take you to my terminal. So this is where I am going to use the Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I am creating a virtual environment and if you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very good price, you can find the link to best compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. I also want to introduce you to our very good friends at iGent who are sponsoring the video. iGent is a multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. Okay, let's go back and see what is happening and that is all done. Next up, let's install all the prerequisites and everything is installed. Let's launch the Gradio demo. So what I have done, I have just gone to their Hugging Face card and they have shared some code. I have wrapped it around a Gradio demo. So let me run this. And the Gradio demo is now running. Let's launch it at port 7860. And there you go, it is running. Let me upload a GUI element from my local system. I'm just going to go with the screen GUI. I think I already have one for my channel. There you go. So I will just keep all the settings as is and let's click on detect element. Meanwhile, I will also show you in real time how much VRAM it consumes. It already finished. That is fine. I'll just run this anyway. So it is not using anything just on CPU at the moment, but we will check. I will rerun it. So you see it has detected everything. I think this one is not detected but the rest of it it has detected i'll just make it a bit bigger there you go so this line hasn't been detected this has been detected and this has also been detected and it is also talking about all of these detections so i think accuracy is quite good not uh, bad at all and of course we can also you know increase this and then go from there Okay, let's try out another one and then we will also check out what it does. Maybe I'll just go with this random one and these are all AI generated. It is running and it is not using GPU at all. Again, it has detected some of it and it's not really clear enough. So I think it has done quite well. Let's do another one and you can see that I'm just going with random stuff. This is from the mobile screen. There you go. So it hasn't detected this one. The accuracy is okay. Not really, really, you know, 
perfect but still not bad at all i'm just checking it in real time as i am showing you different examples let's check this one out again this is a very simple browser drop down and this is a meta sign yep it has detected all of it except this uh, less than sign okay let's try out another one and i'm just going to maybe go with this one again an ai generated one there you go so i think they are this one is pretty good so you see architecturally if you look at this model it is built on something called as rf dtr m detection transformer backbone which is optimized for ui element localization rather than fine grain categorization and what they have done behind the scene because they have released a blog post too around it they have trained it with a classic agnostic objective where they treat ui elements as a single class so capacity goes into precise bounding boxes and generalizes to novel widgets um, so and there are a lot of other things where they have the training data that merges six RoboFlow ui data sets images boxes with an evaluation suite a lot of stuff which you can find on the model card also let me try out one more example and then we will check it out so this is a desktop let's see how it goes the primary use case for these sort of model is an end-to-end -end autonomous agent or you know i think you can go with elements with ids and then once the cu1 has detected it you can select an llm uh, where you can select it target by instructions and i have done various videos on that use case too especially check out this hollow one this is also quite good now if you look at this detection this is pretty neat it has almost done perfectly well so look i could go on and on i think if you're looking for um, ui path sort of ai powered tools maybe this could be a good one so whatever you are doing with robotics platform automation or rpa you can obviously look at the use cases where you could replace it with ai powered one but as you can imagine you would need to also build some wrappers around it you would have to do some custom coding and you would have to feed in your own ui elements most of the time because this field is still evolving it's not there yet where you could just make it and drop in replacement for tools like power automate or uh, ui path if that is your use case but the thing which i really really like is that this model is um, providing you the groundwork where you can build your own application to execute the action and if, as i said if you check the hollow one which i showed you that is even slightly better in my humble opinion but again the license of um, especially this model is very liberal always love when the licensing is liberal let me know your thoughts on this model please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support